Here we are talk about heaps. We're going to show the how you can use heaps to uh, sort values. Uh, we basically won't need anything beyond um, what we've already seen in heaps part one and two. Uh, in particular, we're going to use the linear time build heap and the deletion from a heap, uh, delete max from the heap. So let's see how that goes. Um, First, you start out with some array of values, and we say, oh, I'm going to use that array, and I'm going to sort in place within that array. I'm not going to need any extra any extra storage. So that's a nice thing about heap sort. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run the built linear time build heap. So this is the same array that I used in the part two of the heap video. Um, so in one time step, well, just, well, in linear time, we have our, our heap built. And now what I'm going to do is just iteratively delete the max value, okay? We're going to do only one thing that's a little bit different, but when I do this, I'm going to walk you through basically every comparison that happens within the deletion stage of this. We already saw the comparisons that happened in the build heap. Again, that was in part two. So in this case, I'm going to build 18. The way that I do that is I'm going to swap that with node 13. And I'm really going to swap them. And then I remove that node from the heap, like I always do in deletion. But notice, I remove it from the heap. It's still in my array, right? I just know the heap ends here. In this case, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven values in my heap, even though I'm using an array of size eight. So in Java, like when you have an array list, you know, the array list has some capacity but the size of the things in it can be smaller, right? So here we have seven things in our heap, even though the heap is using an array of size eight. And we have that 13 sitting up, that, well, we haven't actually finished deleting the 18. After swapping it with the last leaf, we now have to, uh, as the book says, float 13 down, or no, that's max, max heapify, We're gonna max heapify on 13, it has two valid max heaps as its children. And I compare 13 against 16. 16 is bigger. I compare 16 against 17. 17 is bigger. I switch 13 with the max, which was 17. Now I compare 13 against 12. 13 is bigger. I compare 13 against 15. 15 is bigger. I move it down. And after that, I have deleted my first value. Okay. That's pretty much how the entire rest of the uh, presentation is going to go. I'm just going to walk you through that, though. Okay. So what happens next? I delete 17. 17 swaps with 13. I keep it in my array, and now 13 has to uh, max heapify on 13 uh, in the root position. It moves down. It compares to 16. 16 compares to 15. 16 bigger. 13 swaps with it. 13 compares to 14, 14 is bigger, 14 compares to 11, 13 moves down. Now it's in a leaf position. Now I finish deleting my second node. We see the 18 and 17 are deleted. They're no longer in the heap, but they are still sitting in the array, right? So what happens next? Want to delete 16, swap it with the 12, move the 12 versus 14, 14 is bigger, 12, 14 versus 15, 15 is bigger, move the 12 down, and it's done. Great. Now I want to delete 15, swap it with the 11, 11 against 14, 14 is bigger, 14 against 12, 14 is bigger, move the 11 down, 11 versus 12, uh, versus 13, 13 is bigger, move it down, now I have finished four deletions, right, and I have the biggest four values here, next I want to delete 14, 14 swaps with the 11, 11 against 13, 13 is bigger, 13 against 12, 13 is bigger, move the 11 down, now it's fine, and then of course our last few deletions are going to be, are going to be quicker and quicker, so uh, 13 I'm deleting, swap it with the 12, compare 12 to 11, it looks good, now I want to uh, delete the 12. I swap it with the 11, bring the 11 up. Now the 11 is a valid heap. And we could just stop here. Uh, the book says, you know, delete until you have heap size one, and then you're done. If you look at the array, we're done. Or if we wanted to sort of just, you know, 
beat this dead horse. Uh, we could say, oh, I'm going to delete this 11, and there it's deleted. Either way, sort of doesn't really matter. Deleting from a heap of 1 is easy. In this case, the only difference from our normal deletion is when we put something into an array, when we did that sort of swap into the space to be deleted, we leave the thing there, we decrease the size of our heap, but we're still using all the array memory. Okay? What's our analysis? Well, we did a linear time build heap um, that has, of course, worst case time, order n, or best case time, order n as well. We did n deletions. Each one of them took no more than order log n. And in fact, the first... Uh, the first n over 2 of them could in fact take up to order log n. So uh, we have worst case time order log n, never worse than n, log, or than n log n. And it gives us order n log n total worst case time. Uh, if you got really lucky, uh, this could run in order n time. Ooh, I got a little max headroom thing going on here. Uh, but anyway. That's our, that's our runtime. Best case, when could you see best case? Well, in all, all those important instances when you're sorting, let's say, n7s, you'd hit your linear time best case, right? This would sort, if you're sorting a whole bunch of the same value, um, this would give you linear time. However, uh, it would not be stable. So later on when we see um, what a stable sort is, uh, this is not a stable sort, but it is an in-place sort. Um, thank you.